This is my proposal! Good morning, Planet Fam! How are you guys doing today? I'm just with my gorgeous girl, Monica, at the moment, who, as we said in the last video, we don't, I don't even need to introduce Monica yeah. anymore, just, you guys know her. And if you don't know her, then you probably don't know me either. My name's Sam Patterson, I'm uh, from Cheshire in England, I'm in a long distance relationship with this gorgeous girl from New York. <laughs> That's basically us, we're boring. We're gonna head off to my grandparents' house because my uncle is over from London. And then, something I'm thinking about, which could potentially be quite cool, is I'm thinking of getting laser eye surgery. I've thought about this for a while. I hate wearing glasses. I don't, I don't think of myself as a guy that wears glasses, but it's kind of weird. Like, if any of you guys wear glasses, if you haven't worn glasses for your whole life, is it kind of weird to you when people describe you? You know, say if someone's describing you to a friend, they're like, oh, okay, so say like Sam, for example, they're like, okay, quite tall, brown hair, brown eyes, wears glasses, and I'm like, wait. I'm known by people for wearing glasses, that's so kind of weird. I don't really have any reason to, but I just, I hate wearing glasses. I just hate the hassle of getting up in the mornings, having to worry about my eyesight, having to worry about getting contact lenses and glasses and, you know, different eye tests and all that kind of stuff. So, I've been thinking about it for quite a while. I've actually done some calculations on it as well, because I've figured out that at the moment, I'm putting in contact lenses probably half my time. So half the days I probably wear contact lenses at the moment. And that's obviously costing a bunch of money. So I've worked out I'm probably spending about three or 400 pounds a year on glasses and contact lenses. If laser eye surgery is, for example, 3,000 and I'm spending 300 a year on glasses, people say, oh my gosh, like laser eye surgery is not worth it. It's 3,000 pounds, it's so expensive and stuff. But if I think about it like this, I could potentially be alive for another 70 years or so. So that's 70 years of spending 300 pounds a year. So that's 21,000 pounds I'd, I'd be spending on glasses and contact lenses over the course of my life. Or for 3,000, which is seven times less, obviously it, that works out so that I pay it off in 10 years time, I can get laser eye surgery and never have to worry about it again. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Basically, to, to dull down all that mathematical stuff that I've just worked out while speaking to you, um, if I get laser eye surgery now, it will be worth it financially for me to get laser eye surgery. So that's kind of what's going through my mind at the moment. What I'm doing today is heading to Liverpool, and basically, Mona and I are gonna go to Liverpool, hang out. <laughs> Mind the disturbance, that was my dog going crazy at the postman, but what we are doing today to wrap up, we're heading to Liverpool. Monica wants to hang out and potentially see some cats if we have some time. If we go, I will cry. There's this thing called a cat cafe in Liverpool. As the name suggests, it's a cafe full of cats, which obviously Monica, being the most animal obsessed person in the entire world, I'm gonna cry thinking about it. Is absolutely obsessed with the idea of. So um, if we get some time, we'd love to go there. But at 3.30 p.m. today, I have a laser eye surgery consultation, which is probably gonna last about an hour and a half or so. I'm gonna have a consultation and just talk to a laser eye surgery expert about whether it's the right thing to do and all that kind of stuff. And I'll keep you updated on this journey. But anyway, let's get going. We're on our way to Liverpool for my laser eye surgery consultation. So we've just seen my grandparents and my uncle's there. He's up from London, so that was really good to see them and catch up with him. Gonna grab some lunch on the way. After my consultation, why don't you have a look at what time a cat cafe's open till? I will cry if you're not kidding right now. I'm not kidding, look on your phone. Okay, I'll check right now. <gasps> what time's it open till? 8 p.m. 8 p.m.? Are we, are Honey, we? Do you wanna go to the cat cafe today? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes, I'm serious. I'm gonna cry, honey. And then, shall we take you out to dinner in Liverpool? Honey, I'm gonna cry right now. And we can go to TGI Fridays. So. Ah! <laughs> this is my proposal, honey! No. Oh, honey! How does that sound? It's the best day in <laughs> How about, we go to a laser eye surgery consultation, Hit the cat cafe in Liverpool, and then on the way back, we pass Cheshire Oaks, which has your favourite restaurant, TGI Fridays. So we'll go there on the way back. Did you guys know I'm getting proposed to today? Like, is, does anyone know this? Not yet. <laughs> like, this is better than a proposal. You have no idea. <laughs> this is like, this is like what I need in my life right now. We've stopped for a little break, haven't we? Let's get some yeah. lunch because we're both absolutely starving. I haven't eaten anything today yet. Have you? Nope. We've got about half an hour to kill at the moment, but we stopped in the Domino's to have some food. This is like a really cool Domino's. It is. Like we can actually sit down and eat. Like I've never actually sat down and ate in the Domino's before. Either. Oh, uh, honey. Yeah. So hungry. You have no idea. This is gonna be. Yeah. And we both got. Cookies, but don't tell anybody. 
Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Stop, you're gonna be excited now. It smells so good. Oh honey, they don't have any ketchup, so Mike is devastated. Mm. Excuse me, ma'am. Did someone find some ketchup that she left in my car? Basically, Monica's obsessed with her ketchup and she can't eat chicken and potato wedges without ketchup. And she kept some in the car. I told you they come in handy. <laughs> you happy? Yeah. Honey. Everything okay? <laughs> Is everything oh. okay? See, that's why I need laser eye surgery and my glasses hurt. Well, honey. I'm so full. It's just so good. It's so good, but this is the most full I've ever been. You're gonna have to roll me out of it. That's okay, because we can roll together. You so don't want I it. I don't want it. Oh my god, fine. <laughs> don't want it. Honey, you want me to take it away from you? you, you <clears throat> honey, honey. It's just, it's not me. It's not me. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Are you full, honey? I can't stop. Is it really good? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going, yeah? <laughs> so I'm having my consultation now, guys, so apparently it looks kind of crazy, so I'm going to have to look at this back. <laughs> I'm just going to ask you not to blink. We're just going to line up the surface of your cornea first and the centre of your pupil. Okay, so blink a few times, and then when you're ready, open your eyes wide as you can for me. That's it, brilliant stuff. Hold it there. Keeping your eye open. Keep it open, and you can blink. Okay, and again, looking straight ahead for me, and hold it there. Keeping it open, keep it open, and you can blink. And again, as wide as you can, and hold it there, nice and wide, keep it open. Keeping it open, and you can blink, brilliant stuff. That was so cool. Was it? <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> Someone is excited. <laughs> We're out of my laser eye surgery consultation now. Basically, I've got to go for a second one because my pupils might be too big. Monica and I are going to Grand Canaria on the 29th of August until the 12th of September. And her parents are coming back and it's gonna be super fun. But the 13th, I've got a second consultation. So I guess we'll see then. We're gonna have more kind of checks and, and scans and stuff like that. Now, we just ordered an Uber because Miss Crazy is going to the cat cafe. Darling, why are you dancing around? Because I'm going to see some cats. Woo! <laughs> At the cat cafe. I already saw a cat today. <laughs> You're happy. So terrible news. We got to the cat cafe. They don't have any place available, like at all. I didn't know you need a booking. So yeah, we didn't make a booking. So unfortunately, we can't go today. So basically, when Monica says she has, she does a bow. I'm not bowing here. <laughs> You're not bowing. I'm only allowed one a day. Okay, go on. You're allowed one now. I'll give you free one. Oh, my honey girl. We're just doing some shopping now, and then we're gonna head to TGI Fridays, get some dinner. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Every street is a cat walk. Cat walk. Oh, honey pie. Okay, so update. We're in Primark, and basically, Monica's sister, Jacqueline, who lives in America, is absolutely obsessed with all things Disney. Monica's basically been sending her a bunch of Disney stuff from my phone, and she's taking all of it. <laughs> Jacqueline, you're crazy, girl. Oh, crazy. Even, even that light. How are you bringing that light back to America? Well, my parents are coming, so I'm going to put it in their suitcase. <laughs> you are crazy. We spent 40 pounds on Disney stuff. Mickey Mini, Mickey Mini, Mickey Mini, Mickey Stop Mini. Stop it! Minnie. We are on our way back to Cheshire Rogues now to head to TGI Fridays, Monica's favourite restaurant. Honey, yeah. Isn't it, honey? Yeah. I just want to. Uh... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thankfully, they have a table. We're just waiting for it to be ready right now. And we get a good. Booth. Yeah, we get a booth. We get a booth as well, Sorry, so it's all good. Man. My girly has her sesame chicken, or sesame chicky, as she says. You happy? <laughs> we finished dinner now and we're sat in the car. Deji is just about to fight Jake. <laughs> and we're just trying to load up this illegal live stream so we don't have to pay for it. <laughs> we uh, we're on! Deji and Jake are just about right, to fight. Alright, we gotta go. I can't, I can't focus on both. Here we go. Jake won. What did you think? Actually, oh, I, I can't I, see you. Honestly, I think Deji held his own much, much better than I expected him to. Because he was always the underdog, he's always the smaller guy, wasn't yeah. he? Now that this fight is just finished, we're driving home while we have the audio coming through the car <laughs> so Monica can watch and I can listen at least. <laughs> and hopefully we'll manage to get home in time to watch the Logan KSI fight. Dun dun dun! We're back home and we're just about to watch 
the main event. We've watched GM JMX versus Coach Richards in the car. Are you ready to watch this? Oh my gosh, I've got my Domino's cookies. We're gonna figure out who's won now. Went through all six rounds, who do you think? I don't know. Imagine if it starts lagging now, we don't hear. It starts right now, I'm going to cry. <gasps> oh, you're kidding! <laughs> no, 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 It's gonna load back no. on and it's gonna be like, and bing, it's a winner. Referee Gareth Morris scores it 58-57. He has wow. it for KSI. <laughs> Our next judge has it, even at 57-57. And a third judge has it, 57-57. Two of them judged 57-57. It goes to LA now. That was, do you reckon that was planned? <laughs> what do you think of that? It was very close. Hashtag staged. You think it's hashtag staged? Of it is. I got the mod. That was intense. Guys, I'm really sorry, by the way, if you haven't watched the KSI Logan or the Jake Paul Deji fight. I'm really sorry that I, we just basically gave away what happened. But that was crazy. Like, the first couple of rounds, I was like, wow, Logan's just kind of playing Logan's with it. Like yeah, like really just kind of taunting him stuff, and but then towards the later rounds, it really got interesting, didn't it? So very excited for LA. But anyway, guys, today has been an absolutely great day. Just as an update to my laser eye surgery, basically they took like a bunch of scans and details from my eye and stuff like that. It turns out that I only have a 50/50 chance of being able to actually get a laser eye surgery because my pupil is slightly bigger than the majority of people's pupils, which makes it kind of riskier because they have to like cut a flap in my eye. I don't really understand how it works, but yeah, so I need to go for a second consultation the day after I'm back from Gran Canaria with Monica and her family. So make sure you watch that guys, that's gonna be really cool. But I'm going for a second consultation in Liverpool where they're gonna take a bunch more scans and details and stuff like that from my eye. But I'll keep you guys updated on that journey. Make sure you kind of follow me and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. I've wanted this for a while and if I do manage to get laser eye surgery, then it'll be really cool. It'll be a really cool kind of journey to follow, I think. Anyway, guys, keep alive alive. Like it, comment, and subscribe. Peace. We love you and goodbye.